Gumbawa, my fellow Shogun to players. The rip here. And I have two good news for you. I know no one cares, but I will still share it uh, nevertheless. Those good news is. I got five digit view count. <laughs> yes, it's ridiculously small, but I'm still happy with that. Because it means I accomplished something. 10k views. Thank you very much for watching my channel and I hope if you are here for the first time you will subscribe, maybe comment some, maybe like some, who knows, who knows. And the second good news is I got first part of my new year bonus earlier than I expected. So maybe tomorrow I'll go shopping and uh, take some parts for my computer. So. Maybe, maybe next week my um, videos will become much less laggy uh, than they are now. And maybe I will be able to show you some closer views. Uh, but I don't know why would I. Uh, because it uh, really stays in a way of uh, discussing a game. <coughs> so, I actually have another vanilla game to discuss today. And after that I will get back to Agony 1v1 Championship. So the game is uh, against CW Andre. I played him uh, yesterday two times on the lab. I met him two times. And uh, if you look uh, at the times, it's only half an hour difference between games. So we played, he crushed me completely. Uh, he had a very small but reliable cavalry contingent, which I underestimated. So I lost all my cavalry, and then his uh, level 9 lone swords just destroyed my uh, uh, Nodachis. <coughs> it was completely one sided. Then I played another game, and I lost uh, to someone from CW as well, I believe. And then. We played one more game, I meet uh, Andre again, and this time it was a little bit different. First of all, we had a more closed map than before. It's Ikenaura village, and first game was on uh, Kanta Plains. And I assumed that uh, here, uh, well, obviously he remembered me, I assumed that he will use very similar build uh, to the first game. And I know that I can't bring uh, stronger swords uh, because I don't have enough vets. So my plan was to put my everything into winning cavalry fight. Very easy plan. And uh, well, <laughs> we will see how it goes. And man, that's why I want new compute. <laughs> <laughs> it really loads slow. I will try to put the game on SSD. I will try to buy more RAM memory and hopefully, hopefully I will uh, shorten up load times a bit. Okay, so as you can see, this is the most important part of my plan. It's, it's simplistic. It's simple like hell. Uh, well, hell is not simple, but still, it's very simple what I'm trying to say. It's two Yari cavalry hidden in the forest far away from main body. I make it look to him like I um, like I deployed all of my strong cavalry and it's strong. I have uh, Magnata warrior monks, uh, two units of Magnata warrior monks here, uh, one unit of light cavalry and uh, one mounted gunners. So this cavalry contingent uh, from his side it's probably look looks like it's all cavalry I got. And I deployed it near my infantry forces to make it look like I deployed all of my forces together. It's it's kind of psychological trick. And I, wa uh, I hope that he will be overconfident after that um, win against me. So he will not think twice and count twice uh, my forces. What else I have? What else do I have? Yari Ashigaru, Yari Ashigaru. Naginata Samurai and Long Yari Ashigaru as a front line. I have uh, two 
three, four Nodachis. I have one unit of Nagnata Warrior Monks. One more Yare Ashigaru to keep my uh, back safe. And uh, I will ignore for So he actually uh, got my bait. He engaged his Yare Cavalry, hoping to get my mounted gunners, I believe. I don't know, this charge doesn't look very safe to me. Even thought um, he sti he got clean charge, but he didn't get many kills. I, I don't know. This is a clean uh, cavalry engagement mistake. He engaged only one cavalry. So, and now when he uh, put all of his cavalry in this fight, I show my Yari cavalry. And this is a bit premature. It's it's too early to show them, but still I decided. I thought that maybe I can get this mounted gunners. And you see, using this um, Yara Ashigaru, I nicely uh, zone out this cavalry fight. So this cavalry cannot really do anything to me right now. He will have to really run all around to try and uh, participate and inf in infantry fight. And, well, this Naginata attendance, after the game, this was unit that was um, vetted because... <laughs> It has very, very strong opponents. One Fire Cavalry, one Naginata Warrior Monks, and uh, highly leveled Yari, uh, Yari Cavalry here. At least he managed to save his mounted gunners, which is good for him. But at this point, I'm certain that I will get his melee cavalry dead. I'm a bit afraid of this um, Naginata attendants that coming into this fight. But uh, that's okay. And. Uh, what else do I have? There is one unit I didn't um, call out in my army. It's uh, uh, much like Warrior Monks. I decided that in this map they it would be beneficial to use some much locks because of these uh, choke points. I can shoot all I want. And here my Naginata Samurai meet charge of uh, level 9 Lonesword Ashigaru. Scary units actually. And... Uh, Two of them engaged. Uh, Tetsuo Warrior Monks, he used them in the first game too for the Warcry. You see, only three upgrades. Safe I keep my played. Tetsuo Warrior Monks uh, low upgraded uh, as well. I'm slowly winning uh, melee fight, Naginata attendance. So he have full stack of Naginata attendance. Nadachi Samurai with three chevrons. Not very highly vetted Nadachis, but they still strong. Level 6 uh, Nadachi, low on swords with uh, 9 chevrons again. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 swords. Uh, one of them uh, hero is Tetsubo Warrior Monks. And three, at least uh, 4 of them is low on sword Ashigaru with 9 chevrons. So, I got rid of his melee cavalry. And now I try to disengage. I really don't want to lose anymore. Uh, because now that he rushed me in the middle, the only thing in my mind was I need to get this Naginata Warrior Monks into melee fight. Because he only got swords here. I need to charge him. And I wanted it so much uh, that I didn't even... Uh, uh, this is a mistake of uh, of a newbie, you can tell. Uh, say, I will charge them right from the front. Um, I'm not really going to find uh, a way to somehow hit it from the back. Well, th there isn't much way actually to maneuver. So I'm sending my Yari cavalry and light cavalry to pursue these mounted gunners. Outcome of this game e isn't clear yet. But I have a plan, because I have my mounted gunners depleted, but alive, and I have my Machlock Warrior Monks. So, and he has no cavalry, so if I ma uh, manage to get rid of these mounted gunners, his general doesn't have both, so he has nothing ranged, and I can win this game uh, full of the samurai st style, I can kite him. But before that I want to get uh, the best I can from melee engagement. So I charged uh, two of my Naginata Warrior Monks in the middle. 
Uh, unfortunately, he already got his Naginata attendance in this fight. But at least I get some uh, very expensive uh, sword kills. And you see his units, this, well, Tetsubo War Monks, obviously strong, but this Lord Sword Ash Ashigaru, look at this, 172 uh, uh, kills. And this is a kills against my Nadachis and my uh, Samurai, um, Naginata Samurai. So, as expected, and this was expected, I'm losing uh, infantry fight. Here he managed to route my Yariki using only his mounted uh, warriors. Oh no, my light cavalry. But now my Yari cavalry actually getting rid of this mounted gunners. So... Oh man, this is cool. I didn't forget to put my general into uh, stand and fight. <laughs> this is rare occasion for me. I usually forget to do that because I run with my general all around. And now, seemingly, I lose my um, infantry force. But at the same time, look at this. His infantry force, even so he won, it's so depleted that it's on the verge of routing just because of how small this contingent is. So, I managed to pull back my general with horses. Sometimes uh, they run from attacking units. And suddenly, look. Just a second ago, he was winning, but now suddenly he realized that I still have my general, I still have two cavalry units, I got his general while he was in... Um, was he in stand and fight? I don't know. Yeah, he was in stand and fight, and I got him, and now suddenly his melee contingent isn't strong enough to get me. Because I have kiting capabilities, uh, I have my general alive, so the rest of the game wouldn't be anything particularly interesting. I will speed it up a little. Now I just want my much like warrior monks to survive. So this is your typical Fall of the Samurai style game, where um, ranged units actually win uh, the end game. And uh, my main focus was to make him pay enough. Just look at this. Look at this pile of dead bodies. Uh, man, this was a fierce battle here. And I don't know, probably I could have played it more effectively. Maybe I could have... Uh, no, no, I don't believe so. There were, were no way for me to win an uh, infantry fight. But I managed to reduce his forces to two Naginata attendants, three Naginata attendants and one uh, Lone Sword Ashigaru with nine chevrons. This is still very strong and scary unit, but uh, I can get it. I mean, right now there is no chance for him. So, this cavalry mistake cost him the game, essentially. Just because my plan was a uh, late game. I wanted to wear down his infantry in a long fight and just win using my skirmishing contingent. Something like that. And now I'm just going to kite him. And this this isn't very smart. He split his forces, hoping that uh, he can get my... Um, well, maybe he hoped that I will mismicro my mounted gunners. But overall, he, he understands, um, as well as I am, that this game is over. So he doesn't really try here. Well, at least he was honorable, honorable enough to rot a GG. Ah, man. And I should say his core is probably stronger than mine. If not for this uh, surprise plan, uh, for this hidden uh, Yariki, this, this game was lost for me, I think, because... I have no idea how to plan against this uh, infantry. I don't really know. If he had his cavalry intact, if his cavalry were running around and probably charging my... Um, uh, matchlocks... Oh! It doesn't matter. Even if he just managed to 
keep his cavalry alive, keep his general. That was enough for him to win. Let's take a look at final statistics. Oh man. But still, <laughs> I, I have some sort of newbie uh, satisfaction from such a game where I don't have anything on my hands. I don't have a good roster. I don't have a variety of builds that I can use. All I have is one simple clean plan. And it just works. <laughs> I like games like this. Uh, because I have a lot of losses like this. Uh, I get overconfident. I do something stupid, silly mistake. Uh, like, his, uh, like this cavalry engagement of his. And I lose. And let's take a look at... Uh, I deployed much more than him. Because I used, I believe, we will see five uh, Yari Ashigaru. And uh, his units were much more expensive and much more cost effective, I should say. Let's see, let's see. So, I, uh, it worked uh, exactly as I planned. Uh, best kills is cavalry units, much like war monks, mounted gunners, surprisingly long Yaro Ashigaru did okay against those uh, long sword Ashigaru. But this is a strong unit. Uh, I'm starting to like it uh, pretty. Very, very like it. Nadachi, sir, uh, well, obviously. And uh, despite having only 60 kills, this Naginata Warman cavalry got very expensive kill kills. It's uh, that long uh, Swat Ashigaru, man. Uh, that's expensive unit. Well, how expensive can it be? It's actually under 1000, right? Maybe it's not that expensive, but it's still very strong and scary. Maybe because they have Inspire or Banzai, I didn't really notice. And experience wise, mounted gunners. Yeah, much looks interesting. And this much looks didn't get uh, veterancy upgrade in this game actually. And one unit of Naginata attendants did this one. Okay, now, now let's take a look at uh, my opponents on Andra's skills. Look at this. This is this is just sick. I, I don't know how to stop this. I don't know what to do with this. This lone sword's absolutely sick. And his Nadachis as well, they are much more effective than mine. Well, at least level 6. But when I look about, think about it more, I'm not sure that this upgrade's worth it. Just, you see how how much more men I deployed, and I could have uh, some. Well, I have to think about it more. I, I still think uh, low vetted armies can work. I think they can. Tetsubo warrior monks, man. I wish I could have used uh, this unit to such a, with such an effectiveness. But they should be weak to matchlocks, from what I understand. Nadachis, one sword. So his sword core did really well. One, two, three, four, five, six units. Uh, uh, scary, absolutely scary. But not enough mid shields. So I think if I brought uh, maybe one even one uh, katana cavalry uh, with uh, yari cavalry support uh, this could have uh, cost him the game he doesn't have enough spears i believe so if i get rid of this naginata attendants or even if i don't get rid of them i can wreck his um, swords with cavalry that's what i think okay then thank you for watching and i hope to see you again on my channel have a good day